Hello and welcome back to the Estranged Development Blog uh, series. In this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the weapon system in Estranged. So let's give you a quick demo first. So this is a pistol and you can equip it as the player. There's iron sights, you can shoot it. Uh, he can also equip it as well. So if I click on him, type weapon and pick the uh, M9 there, you can see that he gets it. And if I go into his range, he shoots me. Oh, and <laughs> makes me fall off uh, the level there. So that's basically the weapon system. Um, it's got to drive the NPC characters and it's got to drive the, the player weapon as well. So it, it's all the same code. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, base weapon. So everything starts off with this. This is an actor. Um, it's an interactive actor as well because you can press E to pick it up. Uh, it's got some generic methods on here that relate to uh, melee weapons and um, and firearm weapons. So this, this doesn't have anything relating to firearms in it. It's just kind of generic a uh, weapon. So it's got a bunch of uh, stuff when it's used. It needs to update the weapon state. There's on equip, on unequip, on holster, unholster, uh, primary attack, secondary attack. Is it engaged in activity? Set it that it's engaged in activity. The view model offset, normally the aiming view model offset, how long the attacks take, that kind of thing. Um, let's just see if there's anything interesting in the implementation here. It's not actually that long. Um, so this is the save restore stuff. If you look at, I think it's my previous video, you'll, I'll show you how that works. It's going to persist the, um, the owner here. That's what it's doing. Um, it's updating the physics state. So if it's equipped, it needs its physics collision and physics simulation um, disabling. And if it's unequipped, it needs to enable that again. Just behave like a normal physics object. Um, if it's used, just tell the user to uh, equip me. Nice and simple. Set that we're engaged in activity. This happens when you reload because you don't want to uh, be able to shoot while you're reloading. Well, you might want to, but you can't. Um, primary start end, primary attack end. Um, so you've got various things here. This is just generic weapon handling stuff and setting up the events for this. So next in the chain you have uh, the firearm weapon. And the firearm weapon just inherits from the base weapon. Now, like I said, the intention is to have melee weapons as well at some point. Um, just like Estranged Act 1. Um, don't have any to show you yet, but that's the goal. So here we're overriding a bunch of the methods because primary attack and secondary attack, obviously there's ammunition involved, so you have to make sure that all lines up and you're allowed to uh, attack, etc. Uh, on reload, this is a reloading concept, obviously, because this is a firearm weapon. It has to be reloaded. Uh, it's got some primary fire effects now. It's got muzzle flash, screen shaking, that kind of thing. Uh, there's that screen shake. That's where that's defined. Um, what else have we got here? So we've got the spread of the projectiles for this weapon, whether it's semi-automatic or not. Um, whether we're reloading currently. Um, things like this are just used by the animation blueprint primarily, just to drive the animation for the weapon. So if I go into the implementation, again, it's not that long. It's about the same number of lines. Um, so here we've got a bunch of setup for the muzzle flash light, um, just its intensity, the radius, the cone angle, etc. Primary attack, like I said, it's checking whether we can fire or not. We've got this primary ammunition, or firearm ammunition component. And basically all that does is, is maths. Um, if I look in, I think I... It must all be defined in the header. That's a bit naughty. So, has infinite clips, can fire, clips remaining is greater than zero. Very, very simple. Just encapsulate all of this logic in its own little component here and reload is doing the math to reload. Uh, if we go back to our firearm weapon, there we go. Primary fire effects, that plays the camera shake. It sets the muzzle flash to visible, reports a noise event. Uh, secondary attack, reloading, that tells the ammunition to reload. Uh, is it reloading? Tick. 
When we tick, we hide that muzzle flash if it's visible. And when we're reloading, we check if we can reload with the ammunition, and so on. So now we're into blueprint land. So if I look at this Beretta blueprint, it opens there, you'll see it inherits from BP EST firearm weapon. And this is a little bit of um, logic in the uh, editor, in the blueprints world, to drive uh, firing a bullet. So you can see there's a little helper here that you give a spread value to, uh, and then it, uh, depending on whether it's player controlled or not, it figures out, well, I'm a player, I kind of want to have more accurate spread, or I'm an NPC. For difficulty level's sake, I'll make it spread a little bit more. Uh, it'll find the actor's eyes viewpoint and make sure it's shooting it from the right place. Uh, and then it calls this fire bullet helper method. So that's basically all this does. Um, there's not anything else defined in this class. Everything else is, is left alone. So then we've got the Beretta, which inherits here. So now we're actually at the weapon itself. Uh, so this is, the, this is the skeletal mesh for the actual weapon. You can see that muzzle flash light at the end there, actually, in the editor. Quite interesting. Yeah, so that one, the offset, is not baked into the code. You have to actually drag it around in the editor to place it. Oops, let's compile that. So here we've got a bunch of stuff being defined. Uh, the code actually plays the animations based on where this is equipped. So it's got a player animation manifest, a character animation manifest, and a manifest for the weapon itself. And all these do is define, this is the same structure in C++, but they define the uh, animations that need to get played on whichever skeletal mesh. So this is the player's first person arms, the character's third person character, or the, uh, oh, and the weapon itself. So this is used in all cases. The, uh, this one is used uh, only when it's equipped from a third person point of view, from a character, and this is when it's first person. So this is very, very geared to um, estranged, where you have one uh, player character and the rest of the characters are not controlled by you. Um, so this wouldn't work for a multiplayer game, for example. So then we've got view model offset. This is just the resting view model offset. Um, and the aiming offset, which is uh, when we uh, use the sights. Well, I'm going to go to that, into that in, a, in, an, in the next video. This is kind of a, a setup for that. And that's about it for the weapon system in Estranged. Um, I don't think I'm going to go into any more detail than that. Uh, but join me in the next video where I will quickly go into the uh, iron sight system that was recently added to Estranged. Thank you for watching.